So it's been two years now since I got my little Ford Transit Connect here that you can see behind me. And I just wanted to do a quick review video really for any of you tradesmen out there who are thinking of getting one. I think it might be helpful to you. So let's get into the video. So here I am inside my Ford Transit Connect and it's a um, trend line one and it's the L2 model, so it's the long wheelbase, which is only about 60 centimetres longer than the short wheelbase, but gives you that little bit of extra space. Um, I have had this for two years now, nearly. The lease is just about to come to an end in two or three days' time. So that's why I'm doing this video just before I hand it back. And I wanted to talk to you about a few things, the features of the van, what I like about it, what I found a bit annoying about it, and also things like the mileage, um, you know, the miles per gallon and all that kind of stuff. So first of all, let's talk about mileage. So I've had this van for two years now and I've done uh, 13,722 miles in it. So not a lot actually. And I've averaged 39 miles to the gallon. So that gives you an idea of the real life um, MPG that you can expect to get from it. Now, I do a lot of running around town. I don't do a lot of motorway miles. So that'll probably be higher if you do a lot of motorway miles. But that gives you an indication of what kind of real life mile to the gallon you might be getting out of this vehicle. Now in terms of driving, what I absolutely love about this van is it's just so easy to drive because it's so small, it's basically just like driving a car. So, you know, you could f you could almost feel like you're driving a Ford Fiesta or something, you know, a little bit bigger than that. Um, the height of the van is just the same height as the car, the ride height. So it just is easy to drive and it's comfortable to drive. It's easy to manoeuvre because it's small, it's easy to park. It's got rear parking sensors, which are really handy. And that's all you need really, to be honest, with such a small van, you don't really need front parking sensors. Um, but yeah, generally it's, it handles really well. It's quite nippy, it's quite fast, even though it's only a 1.6 litre engine. So you've got the best of both worlds really. I've just changed up to Transit Custom now because I needed a bit more space. Uh, but to be honest, I'm finding the power of that a little bit unnerving because you put your foot down on the accelerator, it really is quite jumpy. Whereas this, I, I just like the way it reacts, I like the way it drives, it's much similar to a car. Inside, you've got here the, um, I've got the three sort of seats. This seat here really is, it's half a seat almost. It's just there for like emergency situations. You wouldn't want to have three people sitting in here on a day-to-day -day basis really, because it's a bit uncomfortable. Um, but it does the job if you want to squeeze an extra person in and you know, the, the second seat obviously fitting two people is absolutely fine. And under here, you've got a little, pa um, a little storage area where you've got a USB socket and a line in so you can plug your phone in and you can connect it to charge it. You can connect it to the audio system so you can play music through it and things like that. It's got Bluetooth hands-free and all that uh, as you would expect. It's got cruise control as well which is really handy so if you are doing a bit of motorway driving the cruise control is really useful uh, but that's pretty standard in most vehicles now. Six gears, now that is a good feature because again Motorway driving, the sixth gear comes in very handy and that's what helps you to get quite good fuel economy on this. Um, it does have a CD player, but I've never used it. I just don't use CDs anymore. But the radio is good. It's got a DAB digital radio in it. Um, and one of the things I like about it, which I don't have in my custom, is this shelf up here, you can see. Now, this is really handy for storing paperwork, documents and things like that out of the way. Um, the Transit Custom doesn't have that and I am going to miss that to be honest. So you've got quite a lot of storage space inside which is very nice. Um, one thing I like as well is under, so let me show you that, under here you've got a little hatch here and you can store a few things in there and it's got a 12 volt charger and a, you, you can pl so you can plug a USB charger into there or whatever for your phone as well. Another feature that I love about this which I'll show you now, is the mirrors, the wing mirrors are retractable. And again, my Transit Custom doesn't have this and I'm a bit gutted about it because when I have to go through these um, really narrow bollard type situations where it's like width restriction basically, 
to get the van through, you've got to tuck the mirrors in. And in this case, all you do is press a button, the mirrors come in, drive through, and then press the button and the mirrors come out again. I'll show you that now. So the button is down here. You just press that. You can hear the sound. And so there you can see the mirrors tucked in. Press it, the mirrors come out. Press it again, the mirrors come in. And that's great because it avoids your mirrors getting smashed off uh, when you're parking as well. And the way it's set up is actually to tuck the mirrors in automatically when you lock the van. So the mirrors automatically go in when you get out of the van and lock it. Another feature that I really love about this van is the heated windscreen. Now this comes in so handy in winter when you wake up, it's a frosty morning and the windscreen's all iced up. And instead of having to spray de-icer on it and scrape it all off, all you do, press this button and within about 10 seconds, the windscreen has defrosted and you can get on your way and go to work. That is a real lifesaver and something I definitely used quite a lot each winter that I had this van. Another great winter feature is the heated seats. So it's just the driver's seat which is heated, but you simply roll that up, pump it up to five or whatever setting you want, and it gives you a nice warm behind, which is very handy in winter when it's a bit cold in the cab of the van, and you know, you just want a bit of comfort. It's great for that. So that's the cab and the inside. Let's talk about the back now and the cargo area. So this is the cargo area. As you can see, it's fairly spacious. You can get all the dimensions from the Ford website, but essentially it gives you plenty of room if you're running a small tradesman business and you've just got some tools and things that you want to keep going around there. Width-wise, they say that it's wide enough to fit a Euro pallet or even probably two Euro pallets, one after the other. So it is fairly spacious and they come as ply, ply lined as uh, standard I believe, or mine did at least. And you've got the securing um, bolts there on the floor which you can use to secure a pallet or whatever you want to secure. I didn't get mine racked out but I definitely would do that next time because it helps you to make better use of the space. Um, but for me what tended to happen is that my tools and stuff just built up and built up and it ended up all being piled on top of each other and it was just really hard to keep organised so I decided I needed a bit more space um, just because over the last two years since starting my business I built up a lot more tools and, and equipment that I needed on a day to day basis so that's why I decided to upgrade you've got the LED light here and over here you've got a hatch which is handy if you keep the floor clear um, the hatch flaps open and then you can store like three meter lengths of stuff, conduit, pipes, whatever you might use as a tradesman, um, lengths of wood or whatever. Uh, you can store that through the hatch there, which goes into the cab under the passenger seat. So essentially that gives you a bit of flexibility if you don't have a roof rack, uh, it gives you a bit of space that you can store three meter lengths. But what I found, although they sold it to me as like a really useful feature, I literally didn't use that once because what always happened was the floor was covered in stuff and so in order to store any three metre legs I would have had to shift everything across to one side to clear that space and it's just not practical so I had a roof rack on top and I also had a pipe tube which I used for my three metre lengths of conduit etc. One thing I don't like about this van is the paintwork. I think the Ford paintwork is very poor quality in general um, and it scratches really easily so I had like about two weeks after I got the van I had a big scratch down here I don't know how it happened but I just had to pay 300 quid to get that repaired and there was another little scratch in the door that just came from you know day-to-day -day use um, which I've also had to get repaired so it was a bit irritating that the paintwork scratched so easily but yeah, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. Um, not a lot you can do about that. But I think it's very poor quality paintwork. I like the alloys, they're nice, and I've managed to keep them fairly, um, in fairly good condition, no scratches or anything. So in general, the van is in really good nick. Um, 
Yeah, I did have a bit of an accident in it. Someone crashed into me, but that was all repaired under the insurance and um, there was no problems, no issues with that damage. Here's the side sliding door. So that just slides open and you can um, see you've got good, good space there in the side for loading stuff in from the side. And then here is the flap so you can Basically you pull this up, then it leaves us forward like that. And then here, that flap just opens, magnetizes like that. And you've got a space then that you can slide stuff all the way through if you need to. As I say, I've never used it once, but it was a bit of a gimmick that they sold to me as something that would be a really handy feature, which I, I went for it, but yeah, I didn't really use it in the end. So all in all, what would I say about the Ford Transit Connect 2017? Well, I'd say they're great little vans, very reliable, easy to drive, they look good, and they're overall quite well built and reasonably priced. So I would highly recommend one if you don't need too much space. This is the perfect tradesman's van for an electrician or plumber or other tradesman. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more great videos coming soon.